it's the new ranked power mode. The new ranked power league mode? No, just the new ranked mode. My first impressions, and we're gonna tell you who's the best to play, the modifiers, and everything. So my first impressions to start off, I laughed, I cried, I had good times. Just the on me three! What? I screamed, I yelled. No way! No way! Overall, it's kind of like a glorified ladder. Let's get into some the details. So all the way up to diamond, you will only play one game. That means you're not playing the best two out of three and you will only pick your brawlers, not ban them. The first few games in bronze, it's definitely a joke. You're gonna be playing against bot. These will definitely be your easier games. You can play in a team, but if you do, you'll probably run into this problem like I did with the real Kairos time of not being able to find a game where we were just sitting there and waiting and waiting and waiting. Hopefully they will fix that to come. Now let's talk about some of the game modifications. 50% of the time, you'll get no modifiers. So it's just a regular game. But the other ones get a little bit spicy and interesting. There's three different ones that you could get. The first mod is every time you hit someone, you'll get some ammo back. Sounds fun, but there is definitely some standout brawlers and you must pick these if you want to have fun and win. And those two brawlers are Gene and Meg. Gene gets back the ammo so quick, so you're just rapid firing non-stop and it goes crazy. Meg is pretty good because you shoot a lot of bullets, so you definitely get your ammo back as long as you hit shot. Definitely is a carry brawler in this mode if you band out Gene in the higher elo or someone on your team already picked Gene. The other mode is where the grass and the terrain just disappear in front of you slowly over time so you'll eventually be playing on like a purple paradise type of map and there's no grass so you need to make sure to check the mods because if you get this one you don't want to run around with a jackie or a primo on an open map some of my enemies did this and uh thank you guys for the free load so make sure you bring someone that's good at long range and has a decent medium range potential the last mode is the hp mod where whatever your highest hp brawler is all your teammates have that hp so people instantly think, oh my god, Frank, Primo, my teammates are going to have 11,000 HP. This is the best I've ever done like this. I'm going to pick. Don't. No. 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 People will take advantage of that and insta-lock Colette. So you really don't need that 11,000 HP. It's definitely good to have someone with a higher HP than 4,000 though. So some of your brawlers do fall off like this. In my opinion, Piper kind of falls off because Piper's whole thing is being able to two to three tap someone. If they're playing against a Frank Primo HP, Piper has a very hard time to two tap that. So the standout brawler in this is definitely Colette. I was getting 100k damage in a singular game. Definitely, definitely and so I'll collect every single time. I hope you guys like this guide. If you want to see more, make sure to like. Go ahead and comment what rank you are down below. We ended up peaking top 500 United States midway through D1 before I stopped and hit that subscribe button, turn on the notice. Thank you guys.